about Jack Austin. Jack is an ex-naval aviator, retired housing developer, and a longtime community activist and advocate for social and environmental justice. He's the co-founder of Coalition to Protect New York and the Frack Busters New York, two groups that are totally opposed to allowing the development of fracking in New York State. Frack Busters New York is in conjunction with the Sovereign People's Action Network, or SPAN, of Green and Ulster Counties as has recently announced its public law number one, which calls for criminalization of fra hydrofracking. Yes! Yeah. Right! <laughs> Hi folks, it's great to see you here today. Um, and my thanks to the organizers here. I know Jamie and Hal have been putting in a lot of work along with all the people that have been working with them. It's great to see you here. I come from a different perspective in, in ratcheting up the resistance to this drilling in the state along with SPAN, uh, Sovereign People's Action Network, and FrackBustersNewYork.org. These groups want to see this criminalized and taken out of the hands of the executive agency that is currently in. We feel that it has to be more in control of the people in the jury of the courts of New York State where pe uh, our peers can decide whether or not this is a criminal activity right. and that these people should be penalized with substantial fines and substantial jail terms. Now this yeah. is not just, yeah. this is not just for the, uh, in fact eliminates the employees of these companies. We're going after the corporate directors of these corporations. Yeah. These yeah. people. These people bear a responsibility to our community. This is a poisonous event. We live in an entirely different uh, hydrological environment than many of the states in which this has taken place. And how, are, how is it working for those other states up to this point in time? Is there some miraculous cure that all of us are unaware of? That if this industry comes into New York State, it's going to magically overnight have the secret for doing this safely? No. no! Do we feel that this governor has his interests or our interests in mind in talking about this issue in public today? No! Are you with us in turning this from an executive agency, the DEC, after tens of thousands of comments have failed to bring the governor into any compliance with the will of the people and turn it into a jury of our peers? Yeah. Thank you very much. And there are copies of the law. There's a gentleman uh, circulating through the crowd here, uh, public law number one which cause for these kind of penalties to be enacted. And we uh, trust that we will see more and more of uh, this kind of growth in the resistance. Thank you, Dansville. Thank you.